Hey everybody, this is uh, Jim at sp500chart.com. It is, <clears throat> uh, what is it, August 18th, 2014, because my voice is absolutely rotten. Guys, I hope I can find out what's going on with this. This is no fun. <clears throat> I feel fine. I just have sinus congestion and no voice to speak of. So, you're going to do this fairly quickly. Just remember, this is for educational purposes only. These are only my opinions. I'm a guy who draws lines on charts, but you have to draw your own conclusions from your own research and your own due diligence. So let's look at the chart, and I think it's pretty clear what's going on. Uh, made mention last Friday and over the weekend video that we were coming back to test this uh, what should now be a, uh, what before today, and certainly up until Thursday of last week, was a resistance line. It used to be support, it broke, then we have to say likely it's turned into resistance. And you can see that on Thursday, the S&P couldn't get over it, gapped over it on Friday, broke down back through it, tried to get over it again by the end of the day, couldn't do it. However, today, we get back over it again. Not only that, but we immediately head up to that 1970-ish level where we have two more uh, lines of resistance. And where is this line right here have its origin? Well, it goes back to our triple top right here. And if we back up a little bit more, you can see what I'm talking about. It's it's a little bit of a uh, an unclear pattern, but I'm calling it a triple top. You could say it's a quadruple top because we had one, two, three, four. You could even say it's a head and shoulders because we had shoulder, head, shoulder. But the whole thing looks a little funny to me. It really looked like it was going to be a triangle consolidation leading to a breakout and a move to over 2,000. But you can see now we are challenging that neckline again. And you can also see we got a bounce on that neckline. So what we have now is dueling necklines. We've got the neckline that we broke through back in, in uh, uh, on the very last day of September. Okay, so this was support, now it's resistance. This was resistance, and we saw uh, on Friday of last week that turned into support. So what a what a nice object lesson in trend lines reversing their function when a breakdown or a breakout takes place. So right now, what, what am I thinking? Well, you know, I'm thinking the S&P wants to get up to 1984. And I'm saying that based upon this inverted head and shoulders pattern. They've all worked up until now for the past five and a half years. Um, since I started uh, really charting the S&P on a daily basis, they've all worked. This one has about 13, 12 and a half to 13 more points before we say this one worked. Hadn't worked out completely yet. And it will be interesting to see what happens tomorrow and the rest of the week to see if there is the um, steam to get over this line right here. Now I'm going to change this lower support line and I'm going to do it because we now know that was a, I think, a technically significant short-term bottom. So we're going to take that into account and go with the last two bottoms, make that line right there. And let's make that, oh, what's a good color? 
Let's make it uh, dark blue. And kind of interesting to note, if we make a parallel line, who would have thought it? So maybe, maybe, and I hesitate to say this because the last few times we've seen channels and we've identified them, uh, it seems that, that that's been the kiss of death because, you know, channels break. So we've, you know, the last time we saw a channel, I drew these lines and I said, we got a channel. And like two days later, well, we had a channel. So guys, I'm, all I can say really is maybe this is a channel. If we come down and we end up in the low 1960s tomorrow or on Wednesday, I don't think that's any big deal. Um, because we still have a path to this 1984 target from this latest inverted head and shoulders pattern. Uh, all in all, I think we're, we've seen some pretty interesting trend line action here. And uh, I'm just keeping my fingers crossed that, uh, that we make that 1984 target so we can ch uh, chalk up another victory to our good old S&P 500 chart. So look, tomorrow's video, will be later than this one. I'm working significantly later tomorrow night than what I worked tonight. That said, you will get a video. So I'm going to sign off now. Just thank you for watching this. I think this is pretty clear cut what we're seeing here. And um, we'll see if we get any, any additional clarity to this tomorrow. So look for the video tomorrow, and I'm looking for 1984. And uh, so let me rest my voice, and I'm also going to um, don't have a super fast internet connection, so I'm, I need to get this thing uploading so you guys get this as soon as possible. So guys, again, just want to thank you for watching. Take care.